All right, so we're back with the only game where one of the landmarks of your city can be the core of the earth. It's City Skylines. More core of the earth, damn it. So I was wandering around my beautiful, efficient, well-made vegan city uh, when I realized something that I thought I would expand upon because it seemed ridiculous. Way back when we first made this glorious hellhole, when anyone ever comes into the city, they first must experience the depths of hell. The one thing I noticed is that there is a limit to building up, but there is no limit to how deep you can make the roads with the mods that we have. And so you can see that traffic goes down into the nether realm. It goes straight down to the core of the earth. I don't even know how deep this is, but it's pretty bad. Here we are in the donut van, which gives us an excellent opportunity <laughs> to see what the road work is like beneath the entire planet, which is actually pretty amazing. It is really cool down here. I really want to know how stupid we can get the road system underneath the map like this. I don't even know where these cars are coming from because the road renders in and out every once in a while. It's like they're jumping off of the planet or something and landing. Look at the suspension buckle. And then we don't we don't even have a road anymore. It's just, we're just we're just driving on air now. Gives you a good opportunity to see just how low we are beneath the city. Oh, a, a road, a road is appearing. I'm sure my economy is really bustling considering it's importing goods and in order to import the goods, it has to travel like 700 miles. Oh, here we go. I found more cars. They seem to be performing U-turns in midair. I don't know if that's illegal or not. I'm not sure if there's ever been a police officer that's made a law for such a thing. All right, so then as it is, I'm highly curious just how crazy we can get this to work. Grab ourselves a road. We'll make it decorative just because I feel like the center of the earth needs more trees. And I wonder, can we, can I like start down here or? Toggle road collision. This sounds like something I would want to turn off for this. Yeah, you can hold the down button and it just disappears. I don't even know where that went. I'm just gonna click a bunch. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I said I was gonna click a bunch and see what happens. I feel like I've created a potential hazard with this roadway that looks more like a blade. So how do you drive down it? Oh, apparently no one cares. That's good. Now I see what not allowing the roads to collide with one another does. I've created a road sandwich. What happens if you just layer like a hundred roads on top of one another? Oh, what the hell? Uh, so whoa, God. What the hell is this? I didn't make this. I don't know how it got here. I mean, I don't mind that it's here. It's just kind of unusual because I don't remember putting this together. It just kind of appeared after I dropped one of the roads down. Come on, damn it. I said we would make vegan roads and we're gonna make vegan roads, I swear to God. I think it'll be possible to remove like an entire section of this city by doing this because as we do this, it just, just it makes the land disappear. It's not even terraforming it, it's just removing it. I'm just gonna make this go underneath the entire city because I'm hoping it'll look cool underneath there. I'm not sure I'm gonna wanna do this, but uh, let's go for a quick ride. <laughs> Speed limit's 40 here now, guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, now, this, look at that. That's what I like to see. A nice red light <laughs> standing erect in the middle of a road that's on top of a road that's on top of a road that's floating in midair. Oh, we, we're destroying reality. Oh, my God. Even my freaking UI is starting to glitch out. That's what I want. What's cool is we're not really on the road. We're just floating like 60 feet above the road as we descent into the horror. Oh, there's another road that I managed to make down here. They're all starting to connect. See, it did work. You can see all the way at the bottom where the names of the roads are. There's just like a whole slew of ro What is that? Was that a light post? God, I want to be able to move a building down here somehow. Uh, I, I wanted to put a, what the hell? What the hell was that? I wanted to put a building down there. I'm not sure if it worked out as intended. <laughs> I got police buildings in my back pocket. We should be able to move this pretty easily. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm gonna go put a freaking hospital down there and explode it, and now all of its giblets are all over my damn road. All the acid got yanked, you know, 600 feet up in the air, so it's all stretched and crazy. It seems like there's a few areas where people can build a housing in this, so I'm gonna see if I can get anyone to live here. This guy right over here is like, I've always wanted to live on the edge of the world. You do your thing, Jack Sparrow. Look at this, he even has lawn chairs. Ah, uh, see now this is very important. He has a place for his children to play right on the edge of hell. But on a side note, there is traffic signals down there, so the kids should be okay. All right, put some fire departments in here, vocational schools and the like. Everyone's very happy about this. It's a lovely log cabin this guy has built on the very edge of the most unsafe foundation in all of architecture. This is nuts. Everyone wants to live here. Why? All right. You kids can go inside of the bounce house if you can make the jump to get there. Is that... Is there someone living with nothing beneath them? I think there's someone living down there. Those look like houses. Yep. There are houses built on nothing. That is exactly what I wanted. We can make a whole civilization down here. Hold on. Can I, can I get this... Can I get this to go down even further? Like, I want, I want to see if I can get this bounce house down by the weird... What the hell is that car doing? All right, yeah, like, like right there. How about that? Is that okay? <laughs> yes. All right. So I want an elementary school, but I want it, I want it in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. About like that. Kind of... <laughs> Move it over this way a little bit. How about, how about like right there? Will it allow me to have it there? It totally works. <laughs> we got a school down there now. It's operating normally. There's 19 students down there, how? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me, I gotta see now how far down I'm allowed to put something and, and still make it work. Also, look at this parking job over here. <laughs> Here, I'll do a high school now. High schoolers, they, you know what I mean? They're they're a little bit, they're more used to this horror. So, all right, so bring it down. And then I think I might be able to put it inside of this pit over here. I mean, I gotta ask, what would you do if you are going to work and this was your view? Oh, it's allowing me to travel down here. Usually it won't let you walk down here, but I've managed to like slide along a road so you can see kind of how this area is developing. I mean, air quotes. Hi, children. Are you enjoying your bounce house? <laughs> Are any of the children actually playing in the bounce? What the hell? Was that a freaking car moving at light speed? I mean, it looks like all the kids are having a good time down here. There's, there's their school over there that they get to go to. Trying to get a gymnasium down here. I'm gonna need these people to stay in good shape. No road access. Surely we can fix that. What the hell? Okay, was it just me or did anyone else see a young child float up into the sky? Yeah, you see it right there? <laughs> That's how they leave this area, it's glorious. I went ahead and put a carousel down here as well. Uh, it's next to the bounce house. People are just falling down in here. If you're really good at biking, you can actually jump the sidewalk and land on one of the horses. Don't worry, everyone. I know it feels kind of unsafe down here for your children, but I have a plan. Put a nice tree down here. Never mind. The tree vanished into the nether realm. Oh, it got put over here. What the hell? Okay. People are legitimately just, just flying through the air now. Cars are parked in the middle of nowhere, just levitating. People are walking on nothing. Children are falling out of the sky to get to all my parks and stuff like that. <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to grab one of these vehicles to see exactly what's been going on since we've been working hard. All right, now once you go through some of the road work, uh, you're down into the main <laughs> core of the earth area. Right up there uh, is where most of the children play. Down here is where all the dregs of society end up at. I'd be very curious what a map of this place would look like. Like, how the hell? Okay, 
Like, how the hell do you even design what we have done here in any way that a mortal mind can comprehend what they're looking at? I got a uh, Japanese garden down here now. <laughs> It's just floating in the ether as well. Everyone's where the hell did this bird come from? We've created an entire nature preserve down here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, when I'm when I'm down here like this, I wonder if I can make roads connect. I'm not really even sure what I'm clicking on from this position. I'm clicking on everything. I don't even care anymore. I want to know what this creates. I'm down here in the middle of of the nothing clicking on as many roads as i as it'll let me click on okay <laughs> hold on oh, no. so this is what it ended up building <laughs> right here <laughs> hey biffa go ahead and fix my traffic <laughs> The cool part is I can actually get a couple of extra housing developments down here. Hold on. Okay, this guy put his house in a ballsy position. Not only is he on a main roadway, but he has two sheer highways on either side of him. I don't know how he's going to garden his bushes because his bushes are way the hell down there. Man, if you want to burn some calories, this is the type of roadway that you need to power walk on. Just thought I would uh, follow. Max Dixon here as he walks down uh, into the realm of souls. He is an uneducated adult, obviously, because he lives here. Okay, so check out this idea for increasing property value. I went ahead and put a basketball court down, okay? But watch this. But I decided to put some obstacles into the court. So you'll notice that right before <laughs> the basket over here, is a fault line that goes to nowhere. The other half of the court just falls off this crevice. I think that these guys right here win the prize for biggest balls because half of their house isn't even on the grass. It's just going out over the pit. And this isn't a pit with a floor either. This is just a pit to sky. I love how I put this skate park in the middle of destruction and rubble. And all these kids are skating around like, this is fine. It is a glitchy, broken mess. But it's, quote unquote, operating normally. Well, I think we did pretty good. My road work here is an indication of exactly what this city is supposed to be like. There's road sandwiches. There's schools and stuff in the middle of nowhere. There's people living in the middle of nowhere. And there's roads that go down to the core of the earth. And everyone seems to enjoy it. Even if they have to walk on 90 degree angles. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of City Skylines. I think that the city is really turning out into something special. I'm going to leave you with this Japanese garden with no floor. <laughs> anyway, folks, till next time, stay foxy. Much love.